Hey my friends and family, welcome back to the Row Family channel. It's back to school and I'm going to be showing you this lovely hairstyle that I gave to Kendra for her back to school. This is a hairstyle that she has been wearing since toddler as you can see in the photo here. And we're going to be adding extensions. So stay tuned. So initially Kendra wanted some braids for back to school as I've always done. But I'm not able to execute any form of braid style at the moment. So therefore I am going to go ahead and give her a style that still looks cute. And something that is less strenuous on my shoulders. Alright so I'm just adding some edge control to keep it neat and intact. And then I'm going to use a rubber band and wrap it i'm not going to wrap it tight i promise you i'm just going to give it like two to three wraps and i'm also going to be showing you two method so this is the first method and the hair that i'm using is the reggae marley braiding hair as you can see it mimics her natural hair and you can find the color that matches your child natural hair all right so now i just push my crochet needle through and i'm gonna hook it at the end of the hair so that it's easier to pull through after hooking it i just close the latch pull it through and then i use my hands to finish pulling the hair until both sides are even so this is why it is very important that you do not wrap the rubber bands too tight at the root this way the hair can pull through without causing any tension on the hair root all right, so now I just went in and I moisturized the end of the hair with some gel and that way the hair will stay moisturized as well as stay intact. Now I'm going to put a rubber band at the root um, to keep the hair intact and this will also create an illusion that this is her hair coming from her scalp. You, do, you won't see where the extension is joined at all and I'll show you like a close up so that you can see what I'm talking about. And please remember that the rubber bands are small, so you don't need to wrap it too much um, because it will hurt the child's head. All right, so I just wrap it twice. And as you can see, it just create that illusion as if it's her natural hair. You doesn't see where the extension starts. So now I'm going to move on to creating little joints all the way down to the end of the hair. And as you can see, her natural hair is carefully tucked in between the extensions. All right, so you won't see her natural hair at all as long as you follow this procedure. So now when you reach to the end of the hair, you can either cut off the excess hair or whenever you reach to the length that you want, you can go ahead and cut it off. Or you can also add beads at the end. All right, because I know if you're going to do this in your toddler's hair, you you won't do it this long so maybe shoulder length or neck length and then you can go ahead and add beads or cut it off at the end so for the next method this is um, a very good protective style and you can go ahead and moisturize your hair because we're going to go ahead and braid the hair all right you're going to braid it all the way to the end so I saw this African girl on TikTok. She did this um, exact hairstyle, except hers were bigger and she called it the bombo hairstyle. Bombo hairstyle. Yes, yeah, so um, she did them way bigger. So she used a lot more um, extension and she part her natural hair bigger, but she braided it down all the way down, just like I'm doing here. And then she pull it through and then she wrap, use a piece of the hair and wrap to the root. It was a lot of work for me but um it's practically the same hairstyle just a different method all right so now that we have the hair through we're going to go ahead as before and secure the root by adding a rubber band and we're going to wrap it twice so if you are a youtuber and you're watching this video i'm going to take the opportunity to introduce you to having your own merch you don't have to have 10k subscribers you don't have to be monetized all you have to do is go to www.skillstrap.com and sign up to have your own merch let them know that the row family told you about skills drop let them know what you want to be written on your shirt all the info is on the form for you to fill out and it's free right now so go ahead and take the opportunity to sign up at www.skillstrap.com after they create your store for you you will have your t-shirt your mugs your sweatshirts your bags 
with your brand on the front and you can share the link of your store with your friends and family and tell them to go purchase something from your store it's a great way to make some extra money so why not if you need more information just send me an email and i'll answer as soon as possible so the difference between the first method and the second method for me i had to go back and fix this braid as you can see so that it doesn't show all right but if you use more here then i guess the braid won't show so I didn't want too much strain on my hands, so I didn't bother with the braiding. I just went ahead, rubber band, and then continue with the process as the first one that I show you. And we were done in a little over an hour because as soon as I passed her natural hair, then I hand it over to my other daughter and she finishes the end. All right, and Kenja was doing some herself. So yeah, there it is. It looks really cute and it suits her face. According to that girl on TikTok, they call this bumble hairstyle in Africa. I've been doing this in Kendra's hair since toddler and I've never had a name for it. So I don't know. I just know it was a cute style and it suits her face. So I always do it. So yeah, it's the first day of school and she looks so cute. Let me know what you think in the comment section and don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Stay safe and thanks for watching.